Hi everyone, thanks for watching this video. Just last week, KX released an API for Solus and KDB Plus. In this video, I figured I would show you how to set up Solus PubSub Plus and install the API to leverage PubSub messaging pattern. So some of you might not know what Solus is and uh, how to really use this API. So first of all, Solus is a Canadian company and its flagship product, PubSub Plus Broker, is an enterprise-grade event broker which supports different messaging patterns, including PubSub. So it actually supports three different messaging patterns, point-to-point -point messaging, where you just have one application sending messages to another application. Then you have request reply, and finally you have PubSub messaging pattern. It's also available in different flavors. You have standard edition and enterprise edition. However, standard edition is completely free to be used in production. Of course, it does come at uh, some with some limits, which for many use cases are totally fine. So I encourage you to check out standard edition. The product also comes in three deployment options. So it is available as an appliance, uh, as an actual hardware. Um, it's also available as software. And then finally, as a managed service, we have PubSub Plus Cloud, where you don't really need to manage anything. So for both software and managed service, there are free tiers available. So it's really easy to get started with PubSub Plus. So what can KDB developers do with PubSub Plus? Why you as a KDB developer should be interested in this? First of all, you can efficiently distribute data via the PubSub messaging pattern. So you only publish data once and you can have multiple consumers subscribing to the same data instead of having to publish that data multiple times to different consumers. You can easily integrate different applications using PubSub Plus support for open APIs and protocols. All you have to do is worry about interacting with PubSub Plus and then using PubSub Plus support for different APIs, different applications can pick which API to use to consume or publish data to PubSub Plus. You can also use it to decouple your processes. So instead of having applications talk to other applications directly, you can use a an abstraction layer such as PubSub Plus in between to decouple these processes, which allows you to easily deploy these individual processes without having any impact on any other um, downstream processes. You can use Solus' event mesh capability for cloud migration or having applications talk to each other, whether they be deployed in on-prem environment or in cloud. You can also use Solus' replay feature, which allows you to replay your messages even hours or days after their original delivery. So this is really useful if your application crashes and you need to replay some older data or you have a new subscriber who's interested in some data from yesterday. And of course, there's only some of the benefits that I've talked about here. There are a lot more that PubSub Plus has to offer, um, but these are the key ones. So let's take a look at how you can actually install the API and uh, get started with it. So we will look at KX Fusion Interfaces website. So if you go here, you'll see on the left-hand side, there's a link to Solus. Click on that and click on Overview. Here you'll get all the information that you need about the API, uh, a brief background about Solus and PubSub Plus itself, and then talking about the integration and how it's built on Solus' C API. We're going to focus on how you can install it. So let's go to install guide. This will take you to the GitHub uh, page where the code sits. It is developed by KX and managed by. First thing we need to do is we need to go to releases here and download the appropriate release. Because I'm showing you how to do this in, an, in a Linux environment, we're going to download this release here. If you were setting this up on a Mac or a Windows, PC, you would use these ones relatively. So let's download this one. So I will be using an EC2 instance where I have a KDB environment already set up. So let me log into that and now download the API using wget command. And then just extract the files. Okay. I'm just going to load my profiles and just make sure that my queue environment is up and running. Okay. Now let's go back to 
our GitHub repo. And you'll see that under installation instructions and Linux, it says that before installing, install the Solus C API. So we need to first download the Solus C API. So you, the link is right here. And if you go to the URL, you will notice there is a section down at the bottom called messaging APIs plus protocols. And there's a tile for C. So we need to make sure we download the C API, pick the right option, and then uh, use that. I already have downloaded it uh, in my EC2 environment. So I'm gonna go there and this is what I have. So I'm going to extract the contents of this file. Okay, go back to the instructions it says that you need to add the lib folder from the API directory and add it to your library path. Okay, so that's what we'll do. Say export ld library path equals dollar ld library path and then for me it's easy to user and that's my directory okay now if we go to our kdb api directory which is kdb solus all you need to do is run your install script Okay, perfect, install complete. Now to test that your installation actually worked, um, there's some examples available in this API. And we'll be using a few of those soon. But first, we need to have a Solus Pubsub Plus instance running for us to actually be able to connect to it and then you know, publish and subscribe messages to it. So the easiest way to do that is just use Solus Cloud. So if we go to solus.com slash cloud and click on login over here. I already have an account, so it already logged me in. Um, you can sign up for it. It takes one or two minutes at most and you don't have to give in any credit card information. So that's really convenient. So once you have access to it, this is what the dashboard home screen should look like. So let's go and create a service. Now you have all these other options, different tiers available, but I'm just gonna stick with the free version. You'll see that there's not much you can do with it. It's already, uh, there's the limits are already set for it. So I'm going to select AWS um, and that's all that is available in the free tier right now. And then as for the region, I will just subscribe. Uh, I'll just select North Virginia, okay. And then I'll call it KDB demo, so start service. It's really quick actually, it should take about a minute or even less than that. So as we saw, it just took actually a few seconds. Then here you can see uh, kind of a overview of your service, how many connections you have, it's in running state, it's a single node setup, so we don't have a high availability to us right now. If you go into connect, you get different connection options. And um, what we will go to is solid messaging. And then here's all my information. So this is my username and this is my password and this is my message VPN. This is really important information that you need to be able to connect to this service. So copy your host name, which is this and copy the port as well. Go back here and you should go to the examples directly. Here you'll see a bunch of examples. Uh, we're going to use a few of them, but let's focus on solid init one first just to make sure that we can connect to our service. So we go Q init 
give it a host, which is the hosting port that we just copied. Then give it a username, which is so it's cloud client. Give it the password to this long uh, password right here, already safe. Then we need to give it our VPN as well, which is just the service that we had created. Okay, so if you run that, we have an error. Why do we have an error? Okay, so let's see if we go to our queue home. We have our shared object right here. Uh, it's because we didn't set it to the lib directory. Okay, no worries. Let's do that. Good to know. Now run it again. We're in the wrong directory. Okay, so now finally run the command again. And you will see that we are allowed to connect to our session uh, service and our session is up. So that's good. That confirms that our API has been properly installed and it can communicate with our service that we just started on Solus Cloud. Make sure to do this step because as you saw that we can run into some problems, right? Um, a lot of things can go wrong when you're installing stuff. So make sure you do this setup and you run sol underscore init.q file first, just to make sure your connection is working. Now, we would like to be able to send a message, right? And then subscribe to that message. So let's go and create a queue. So over here, we go to queues. You can create a queue. Let's call it KDB demo. Leave it as it is. And then in KDB demo, we can add subscriptions to it. So we'll be publishing messages to a topic. And then we have a queue, which will be subscribing to that topic and hence attracting any messages that are sent to that topic. So let's send it to equity us apple topic okay so any topic any message that is sent to this topic will be attracted to this queue so we go back we can now use solace pub persist now this script is used to publish messages with guaranteed delivery which I will not go into right now, but basically you can run it like this. So use the same connection information that we provided earlier. So all of that is valid. And then if we go to the documentation, you can actually find information on how to run all these examples. So we are interested in Sol pub persist, right? So let's go back and then say our destination is equity US Apple. This is a topic that we'll be publishing to and our destination type is a topic and the data that you want to send. So I'm going to send hello world. Okay, so now it says sending persistent message and then ending the session. Now if we go back to our queue we should, what happened? Equity US Apple. Oh, uh, there's a typo in my topic. It's okay, so now we have our message queued up. So this is good because you saw that I did send a message to a topic it's just that because there was no subscriber subscribing to that topic in our case this queue we were not able to capture that data anywhere 
However, when we sent it to the right topic that our queue is subscribing to, you saw that there's this one message got queued over here. And if you click on it and go to messages queued, you can see any messages that are queued here. So this is payload agnostic, so you won't be able to see the content itself, but you can get a lot of useful information about the message. All right, so now we want to be able to pull this data back from PubSub Plus into KDB. So how do we subscribe to this data? For that, we will use the sole sub persist.q script. So we go back, it's pretty much the same arguments. So let's just change that to sub persist. Uh, instead of all of this, we are going to subscribe or bind to a queue this time, which has subscription to that topic that we're interested in. So we're going to say destination and our queue is QDB queue or QDB demo and our destination type is uh, queue. Okay, so as you saw, we were able to bind to that queue, KDB demo, and retrieve the message. So we received a message here called hello world. And you can see that it was sent to this topic. And that's pretty much it, guys. It's uh, really easy to use this API to install it, to set up a PubSub Plus instance, to be able to send messages and subscribe to messages. And I don't want to go into too much details in this video itself, but I just wanted to give an overview to you on how easy it is to use these two technologies and uh, leverage them both together. Hopefully you learned something from this session. Thank you, and uh, I'll be sharing more videos in future about this.